Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So we are going thrifting today. So I am heading to Salvation Army to look for some books and then we're gonna go to Goodwill. My friend Becky's here, but she's way over here. So you don't get to see her right now. So I thought I would vlog while we were going to see what we find and yeah, so I figured I would go ahead and start the video. So I'm not starting it in the Salvation Army in front of all of these people like a crazy person. So yeah, I will check back in when we get there. So here's what we're looking at. We've got two shelves of like normal size books along with some mass market paperbacks. There's Becky. <laughs> this is my stack, so I'm definitely getting this one. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get 13 Reasons Why. And then I'm still trying to figure out about the rest of them, but I'll let you guys know once we leave. All right, so we are back from thrifting. We ended up not recording anything in Goodwill because it was a little crazy. And their selection left a lot to be desired. I feel like I agree. it's been picked over. I, yeah, I feel like we I feel like maybe tomorrow like they'll probably put more out, but we're not going back tomorrow. <laughs> um and then we ended up checking out Bargain Hunt, which is a store here. I don't know if they're national. Um that like gets like old Target merchandise and things like that. So they had like some books. They mostly had a bunch of copies of Fantastic Beasts, the screenplay. Um, which I already have, so I didn't need it. I didn't want it, so. <laughs> Sorry. I need my Harry Potter I'm like, fan. what? I know, I need to get it. Um, and then we went to the library where we ended up getting some really good deals, too. And apparently, there's going to be a major library sale this coming weekend at the central location for our library. Um, like the big one and the librarian said there's gonna be like thousands of yeah. books for sale So I guess we're gonna have to go yeah. thrifting again. So stay tuned <laughs> for that one um, But yeah, we figured we would go ahead and do a book haul of everything we got because we wanted you guys to kind of know Like what you might find at your own like bargain stores. So I figured we would start with the Salvation Army. I spent $20 at the Salvation Army you um. spent 10 I think I think ten dollars. Yes. Yeah, I think because with at the Salvation Army They gave you the option we could round up to like mm -hmm. donate yes, to the $10. places. So yeah um, Should we do it like one at it like back and forth and I'll start since I have more I guess yeah, that's fine Okay, so the first one I got was $1.99 and it is 13 reasons why by Jay Asher I'm sure you guys have heard of this because everybody has heard of this especially now that it's a Netflix show But it's about a girl who leaves tapes After she commits suicide. I'm not even sure if I want to read this but I figured for two dollars like I can't say no and then I have it if I do want to read it so um, and I pick up The Crown's Game by Evelyn Skye. Um, it deals, takes place in Russia and fantasy, and I got it because Paige made me. Yeah. So it's been on her shelf and I always look at it. So. How much was that one? Oh, that's $2.99. But I think the yellow tags were 50% off. Yes. So yeah, I it think they do. It was $1.50. Yeah, because yeah. I think they do like different tag colors for different mm -hmm. days. The next one I got was The Lovely Bones by Alice Siebel. This one was $3. Um, I have no idea what it's about, but she said to get it, so yeah. I got it. No idea. <laughs> it's suspenseful. Oh. That's all I know. So, um, oops, dropped one. Um, I got The Winter's Curse by Marie. Not going to butcher that last name. Um, and I'm jealous of this one. But yeah. I'm borrowing it. So. Yeah, she's going to get it. But it deals with empire and war and slaves. And pretty dresses. Yes. <laughs> and so a whole new world with deadly games. So it is a really pretty dress. And that was $2.99, but I got it for $1.50. Yeah. So I'm going to do my next two um, together because they're part of the same series. And they were both $2.99 a piece, but then they were 50% off because they were the yellow tag. So $1.50, basically $3 for two books, which is awesome. Um, I think Eve is the first one. And 
apparently a deadly virus wipes out the Earth's population. But I was really intrigued because I picked up this, the third one is what, or is this book two? I picked up one of the series first and it was like when she lost her soulmate Caleb, uh, Caleb and I was like, spoiler, mine. <laughs> so yeah, I grabbed, I grabbed both of those. Um, then I picked up a 12 Days of Christmas by Debbie McComer. Um, I figured it's perfect for Christmas in July coming up. And it deals with, you know, obviously the traditional contemporary romance and a blog about the 12 Days of Christmas. And that was, what, $2.99. So then the next one I got was Bad Moon Rising by Sherilyn Kenyon. I don't know anything about it. I don't even know if it's the first one in a series, <laughs> but I borrowed one of her books for um, the Scallywagathon. I can't remember. I think it's called Dead Men Walking. Dead Man Walking. I don't remember. But it, that one is about pirates. This one is about werewolves. And the summary seems like it's probably the first one in the series so i think i'm probably going to go down the cheryl and kenyon road so i figured i might as well start my collection and then she's done yeah. from um salvation army but i also picked up the lace reader by somebody last name's barry Br Brunonia yeah, Br Berry. Berry. Um, anyway, this one was three dollars, and it's about a girl um, descended from a family of Salem women who can read futures in lace, and so that sounded right up my alley. I think the owner, the previous owners, had a dog because Exo is really into this book. I'm so. have to borrow it. <laughs> so yeah, it was a really pretty cover, and once again, it was only three dollars. Mm. So I figured. Then this was a really good find. I grabbed *The Woman in the Window* by A.J. Finn, which I feel like Books and Lala ran a readathon, and this was the book like group read, One maybe. The, maybe. Um, I don't know. I've seen it around BookTube, so I figured might as well pick it up because it's a thriller, and it was three dollars. So yeah. why not? So then we went to Goodwill, and I got the best find ever at Goodwill. <laughs> yeah, <you laughs> it's did. like the best. You certainly did. So, save it for last. Yeah, I'm gonna save that one for last. Okay. You wanna go first? Sure. Um, I picked up Fireworks by. Oh my gosh. Katie could tip and out. Yes, I was like just blanking on the name, and it was um 3.49. I haven't read any of hers. But I know we all know that 99 days and 9 days and 9 nights are all out. And I've been wanting to read something of hers. So I got this. Yeah. And then I grabbed The Circle mm -hmm. by Dave Eggers. I don't really know. I Like, I know somewhat about it. Because I know there's been some people on BookTube who have read it. And I know Emma Watson is in the movie adaptation. But it's about a girl who works for a powerful internet company. And it turns out there's like... Um, what am I, what is, like, not scandal, um, something, what is it, what, what word am I thinking of? Corruption, <laughs> corruption, that's the word I'm thinking of, that's what I think it's about. Um, I don't know what else, but it was three dollars, so I figured, why not? That was like the mm -hmm. motto of the day, why not? <laughs> right, that was, um, then I picked up Beautiful Ruins by... That is a Jess Walter, cover. and I think I've seen it around somewhere on BookTube. I cannot remember who, and it was three forty nine. And yes, I got it for the cover because well, it's a beautiful cover. It's so pretty. I just want to go there. It, and it takes place me of Saint Thomas. Yeah, it takes place, I think, on the Italian coastline. But it, the story starts in nineteen sixty two, and then it just goes on from there. That's all I really know. It just looked interesting but like a good a good summer read yeah and then i got entwined by heather dixon mostly because the cover is beautiful and it has all of this like foil oh. it reminds me of one of my foil mm -hmm. kids um but yeah i think it's like sort of like a fairy tale because the girl has 11 sisters and anybody that has 11 sisters has got to be from a fairy right. tale. But apparently the character is Azalea and she's trapped. 
and there's some guy who is also trapped and oh, so they understand each other I so it sounds like it's gonna be good and yeah <laughs> you are antagonizing i'm sorry yes, yes. XO he's loves like to play. yeah exo loves to play anytime becky is over here yes. so um then i picked up for $2.99 this signed copy of the sisterhood everlasting by ann Oh my gosh. Brashers. 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 I don't remember. It's the sister of the traveling pants. So thank you Paige for finding it. But she pointed it out. I was like, oh my gosh. Like I totally forgot that she had another book. But I read all three of the sister of the traveling pants. Um, I think in high school. That is and so, so being, cool that it's yeah, a signed it's copy signed. that you got for like. I got it for three dollars. For three dollars signed copy. Like, Good that's will. awesome. Good yeah. will, y'all. For real. So. The best, best find, find ever at Goodwill. The first four books of the Sweet Valley High series. I'm so excited about these. Like, you guys have no idea. And it was only $2.49. Yeah. Like, talk like, about, like, a steal. For four books. I mean, now, granted, these are, like, really short books. But I feel like any girl mm -hmm. who grew up in the 90s and, like, early 00s is going to remember these books. Mm -hmm. And I'm so mad because I got rid of, like, the ones I already have. Mm -hmm. Because I actually like the ones... This is the first four, and I actually like the ones later in the series better. Um, but, like, I will take it for... Yes. Like, this is going to be, like, my childhood. I'm going to read these really fast, probably, but I'm just going to love every minute. I cannot wait. And now I'm, like, sad because we went to the... Um, library afterwards and they didn't have any Sweet Valley High and that's where I bought most of mine originally and so I'm like sad that they don't have them anymore and I'm gonna have to like go on the hunt for them so yeah I spent nine dollars at Goodwill and you spent it was right around nine dollars yeah it was right around nine dollars yeah. so we each got basic I'm counting like minus three because yeah, they counted three yeah. books. And so that's not bad at nope. all so then we decided to stop by the library on the way home yep. and they do books for like one or two dollars and I got four and you got, I got three. three. So should I go first? Sure. So the first one I got was The Pillars of the Earth by Ken Follett or Follet? Follett? Follet? I don't know. I don't know. But um, it was a mass market paperback which I'm kind of upset mm -hmm. about but it was also only 50 cents. So yeah, you can't I hate that. yeah, I decided to go for it because he has another book that I wanted or I wanted to read that yes, was about dealt with like the tutors. Yeah, yeah, and like oh, I forget all of it. Yeah, this one apparently is set in England's 12th century, so I'm yeah, going it's the even building before. of the cathedrals. Yeah, and apparently it's a mini series on stars, which I haven't seen it, but I'll probably be watching it soon. So you know, <laughs> look out for that. Um, so yeah, that was one of the ones I got. Then I got Jane Green, um, Promises to Keep. I haven't read a bunch of hers in a while, so, um, but I always knew I liked it. And so this was only $2. Yeah. So, and it's pretty because it yeah, has the, it's so the blue pretty. So stuff gorgeous. going on. And then the next one I got is The Girl on the Train by Paula Hawkins because I am one of the few people I feel like mm. who hasn't read it yet. But this is like a brand new hardback that I got for $2. Like I am like 99% sure that whoever owned this either didn't read it or just read it and they kept their book in really, really good condition because like seriously, there's not a mark in here. So I am so excited about this find. And then I got The Red House, yes, by Mark Haddon. He's the one that wrote The Curious Incidents of the Dog in the Nighttime, which I finally read at the end of last year, and I really enjoyed his writing. And so it's all this entanglement, and how he writes is pretty powerful. And so it's like, I gotta grab it. But and it's a it's, pretty, it is really two. pretty. So, and it's brand new. So. so the next one Becky made me get. I did. It was Confessions of a Shopaholic by Sophie Kinsella. She's been trying to get me to read Sophie Kinsella for a while now. And so since it was a dollar, I was like, why not? You, you've got to get it. It's a dollar. Yeah. So. Well, because you wanted to branch out. Yeah. So, YA, so yeah, that one will be a good one. Yes. And then I got the Cuckoo's Calling, which is a really pretty cover and it's completely brand new. And so this is the... JK Rowling um, series. 
pseudonym, pseudonym yeah. for it's the detective type stuff. So you'll have to let me know how it is. I will. I will. So then the last book I got is Finding uh, Audrey, also by Sophie Kinsella. Um, this was a hardback, so it was two dollars. And this one is basically new. Mm -hmm. Like, like I'm pretty sure whoever read it like didn't even do anything except for keep it on their shelf yeah i'm sure it's so, like someone like us that yeah takes care of their books yeah so we basically i spent 30 at the library i spent about four dollars so i spent about 33 34 dollars and you spent 26 so and we got like i don't even know let me count one three three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven I got 14, and that's if I count Sweet Valley High, like those four is one. And um, I got nine. So, yeah, those are some amazing deals. Exo's playing with one of these bags, so you guys can probably hear that. So, yeah, like I said, there's a sale at our central library this weekend. It's probably not going to be attached to this video, um, but let us know if you want us to vlog it. Yes. And um, we will try to vlog it. There's another Goodwill that we really want to go mm -hmm. to and another library that I know has a good like little store inside so we really want to go check out their um co like selection but today it was during rush hour oh, yeah. and it's about no 25 30 minutes away oh. and there was just there's no good way to get there during rush hour at all so we just decided to skip it but even so like i'm so excited yeah. about what we found yeah. like this is going to be a new hobby i know so let us know because now <laughs> this is my last week of school so if we need to make this a weekly yeah, like, adventure we can totally do that oh gosh we're gonna be overflowing with books yeah but y'all yeah, yeah. check out your libraries their stores and then the goodwills around you yeah, and definitely salvation army there's brand new sure. books so yeah extra cheap so i hope you guys got some inspiration to go check out all of your thrift mm -hmm. stores and i hope you enjoyed this video hit the thumbs up button if you did comment down below if you also check out your thrift stores and libraries and what your favorite find ever is yeah. um or just let us know that you're gonna go check out your yeah. thrift stores now um subscribe if you haven't already i put up videos twice a week and they are usually a planner or book related so if you like either one of those you will like my channel becky doesn't have a channel but I'm you not. can follow her on instagram at Poppy Plans. I will leave it linked down below and she'll probably be posting more because she is a um, teacher yes. and she's going to be out of school yes. for the summer. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you're having a great week and I will talk to you later. Bye. Bye.